Hello everyone, Mixfit Gaming here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're back here in War Robots on the test server, and we're going to be looking at a couple new things. Uh, first and foremost, we still have the Kepri here, even though the update has gone live. The the Kepri will show its face probably in the next couple days here, but they they did say in the test server notes that this is your last chance to test and provide feedback on it. So whether they really are taking the feedback to tweak it a little bit more before it actually comes live into the game, we'll see. Uh, but that being said, on the Kepri, I have the new Cremola, which is basically the, the bullets that curve in midair. Uh, also, but what we have new here on the test server are two new Titan weapons. The Dazzler, which is the alpha version, and the Lantern. Unfortunately, the Lantern does not show up on the actual mech here. If we go into the lan lantern here, this is kind of what it's going to look like. Uh, if you look at the details of it, the lantern and uh, uh, the other one, I can't remember now what the, what the name of it was. Uh, so it does some decent damage. The range is at 600 meters. Reload is only five seconds. Uh, so, th uh, and the effect duration, it doesn't say how many seconds or uh, what's the percentage for the effect accumulation. Uh, so the energy sh is shooting with energy shells. It's a manual direct fire. Uh, automatic so it slowly shoots all ammo and the magazine shoots all ammunition all all ammunition and reload so it's not a continuous reload like for instance the the shotguns are uh, at least that's the way i read it i haven't i haven't played any games with them yet so we will hop right in here we'll look at both the dazzler dazzler and the lantern on the miramets here hopefully we get some decent gameplay also we still have the new mothership in which is called the orion Looking at the Orion here, we have uh, two laser blast cannons. So I'm guessing what that means is uh, it will do pretty much double the damage of like your orbital strike type thing when it comes in. Uh, also, it has an Aegis system, but unlike the Mantis, it does not have a repair blast. So while you will get an Aegis uh, shield and you will be able to uh, do damage to your enemy, you can't repair yourself. So it, it all depends on your play style. If you play a lot of, for instance, TDM, maybe this is kind of going to be the mothership for you. However, if you're playing things like Beacon Rush or Domination and you want to have, you no, know, uh, to be able to extend the life of your mech as much as possible, especially if you're trying to grab beacons, then I think probably in the long run, the Mantis will still be the better option for you. So with that being said, let's just hop into a game here and hopefully we can get a, a relatively decent game going. Here we go. We are on the uh, factory map. Let's start with the, the Capri here. And it's Beacon Rush, so we'll have to try and grab some beacons if we can. Maybe I should have actually dropped it with my, uh, my Orochi, but um, why are you even... Well, yeah, we're getting resistance, right, if we're actually teamed up. But I don't want to use my ability until we actually need it. So, use my ability on him. All right. Uh, what do we have here? Put that around the side there. They go around the other way. Back on off. I don't really want to get beacons because the other team isn't getting any beacons. All right, so get him healed there. Can you do multiple? Oh, no, okay, so just cancel it. All right. I thought, well, maybe you might be able to do more than one uh, link at a time. But it looks like you can't. So get him healed there. I'd like to get him as well, but... All right here, so... My mothership's only at 10, uh, 20%. I need to try and get some damage or something here going on. Okay, so we might actually have to play another game here because they're not even getting any beacons. And I might not get to my uh, my Titan. Oh no, I do have my Titan. Okay. Well then, let's. Oh no, can I not get to my Titan yet?
There we go. Okay. So let's go in the Titan here. Let's check out these weapons. All right. So lock on here. Let's go on up. Holy crap. Okay, so these are basically like geckos. Yeah, so yeah, I do remember now them saying in the on the test server notes that these were like laser light beams, so. Alright, so back on off here. Okay, so we have a Fafnir there. Let's go on up here. Get him down if we can. Double kill. Boom. So this is actually, oh, I can get a, a mothership in. Let's see if we can hit him. All right, so at least got a shot in on him anyways. Oh, nice. Well, unfortunately, my team actually went and got beacons, which is not what I wanted to see. Oh, that was non-eventful, to say the least. I'm not going to bother with it another game. No, this is kind of a fun build. Uh, 600 meters range, though. Uh, for 600 meters range... I... I don't, it's hard to say. It's just because that wasn't really a very good match in terms of, uh, you know, like my, my, like not even one single person on the enemy team, not one, went and got a single beacon. Like, you can't test things very well like that. But anyways, you know, it's, it's, it's what you get. Test server, uh, even on the live server, you have players who just, they don't want to go ahead and grab a single beacon. Uh, so my, my final, well, I say my final thoughts, kind of my initial thoughts, because this is the first time I've actually exposed to it. Uh, they're an interesting weapon. I, again, like every, we all say this, it's hard to evaluate this stuff if it's only at like level eight bots and weapons. Uh, there's no, there's no pilot skills here. There's no drones. There's no microchips. So while those weapons on that Titan seem to melt through just about everything, uh, again, until you have, you know, leveled up or maxed out no mechs and other weapons out there you really don't know how it fits into the landscape of all the other weapons out there all the other titan weapons and how they go against various titans or like uh luchadors for instance i don't think there's luchadors on the test server with it's kind of the, it's it's a little special shield there uh so it's really really hard to tell uh as with anything i wouldn't be surprised if they are pretty powerful once it comes to the live server these are titan weapons after all and the way Pixonic does things, most of the time when it comes to Titans and their weapons, they're better than anything else that's come before them. Just because they want people to spend the Platinum, uh, so we'll spend money to get the Platinum in order to use them. Uh, I do think the Mirror Mess would be probably be the best Titan for these kind of weapons. Maybe even the Ao Ming. Uh, but then again, with the Ao Ming right now, it's, it's not a very good Titan. If these weapons were maybe like 800 meters range, then you might see a resurgence a little bit more with the Ao Ming. Uh, but uh, with that being said, you know, it's, I would probably put them on the mirror mitts first and foremost if you happen to have one. Well, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the content. Let me know in uh, the comments below what you think of this, these weapons, this kind of style of gameplay. It really seems that uh, Pixonic is trying to go towards more of a long-range game. And, and from what I've heard, like from reading in some of their Discord or, or their uh, Reddit uh, posts, they, there's going to be a really big balance coming up and it sounds like they're maybe trying to move away from the whole close combat, you know, up in your face type gameplay and set uh, 2022 up for more of a mid to long range type of uh, a gameplay, which I'm not a fan, fan of. I don't like that kind of gameplay. I, I like you know, getting up close and personal. It's just my play style. Uh, but we'll see how it goes, just how badly these, these rebalance or I should say nerfs happen. Because we don't know what's going to come around once they decide to do this. As of right now, there's absolutely no information out there that I can hear of. But no, this is not a video about that. This is a video about the current items on the test server. And while they're interesting, uh, you know, we'll just have to wait and see how they perform once they come into the live server. So like, like I said, if you happen to like the video, please give me a thumbs up. 
consider subscribing. Until next time, cause some mayhem on the field for me.